Thank you for your recent purchase of the Soul Desktop Laser from Denmat. The purpose of today's video is to walk you through some of the setup instructions with your new unit so that you can start using it right away. If you still have questions once the video is done, please consult your directions for use or call your local territory representative for more support. So now you're ready to start using your Soul Desktop Laser. The first thing you want to make sure is that you have inserted the batteries properly into the sole foot pedal unit. This is a wireless foot pedal and it comes from the factory synced to your specific laser unit. Next we're going to walk through the actual buttons on the sole interface. First step is you're going to want to turn the unit on. You turn it on by simply rotating the key and flipping the switch to the on position. You'll hear a beep when the unit starts up and is ready to be used. The first buttons you see on here are the preset buttons. So your first preset is known as custom. When I press the custom button, it comes preset from the factory to 1.5 watts. You can easily adjust this up or down using your keypad. If you'd like to save it as a new preset, simply hold the custom button for three seconds. Now you have a new preset. The next preset on here is our debride setting. Again, you'll notice that the wattage changes on the unit. For any hygienist out there or somebody wanting to use the sole for hygiene, this is going to be a crucial function here. This is the perio button. You'll notice you have a blue light that turns on here, and that simply indicates that the wave is now in pulse mode instead of continuous wave mode. Again, you changed your wattage here. And then finally, the cutting mode. Preset to 1.2 watts. You can adjust it if certain tissue needs to be ablated at a higher speed. You can adjust it here, or you can leave it on the standard. Next, you'll see your emergency stop button. Anytime, if there's ever an issue, simply press this button and the entire unit will be disabled. To re-enable the unit, you're going to have to manually turn it on and off from the back. You have a brightness button for the display and for the aiming beam, so you can adjust your brightness button here. If you also find that the beeps can be a little bit annoying in your office, you can turn them on or off by pressing this button. Now, we're ready to use the laser. So, you're going to take the handpiece out of the holder, unwind it very gently. Keep in mind that this is a glass fiber, so you're going to want to be gentle with it. Then, take one of the disposable single-use tips out of your casing. Be careful not to touch the end. You don't want to add any contamination to it and slide it into the unit. Once you're ready, press the green ready button. You'll now see an aiming beam and your laser is ready to be used. Once your sole desktop unit is set up and ready to be used, you may find that for certain procedures it recommends using an initiated laser tip. So, to initiate the laser tip, take your laser tip Make sure it's on the unit fully. Make sure your unit is on and in the green ready mode. Take some simple articulating paper from your office or that was shipped with the unit. Press the laser tip to the paper and activate with the foot pedal. You'll see it starts to activate. It starts to cut up the tissue. Now you'll see at the end of the tip, it's now black. This will allow you to cut or ablate tissue and you're going to want to use the laser tip initiated for any of those procedures. For a list of additional procedures that need an initiated tip, please consult your DFU.